am fine too i thank god and today i am so so happy i'm going to be telling you why i'm very happy today guys but welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for returning back here to watch my videos if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will enjoy every content that i put in this channel so guys in our today's video we are going to be sipping some wine <laughs> so grab your popcorns grab a glass of wine a glass of water a glass of juice sit here with me because our today's video is a story time <laughs> yes guys two success stories in one week god is faithful and when i tell you i am praying for you believe that i am praying for you because i see god has started to answer all the prayers so keep praying guys i told you i am very very happy because the lady who found love on online dating apps is my own product <laughs> i'm so so happy this lady did not know anything about the dating apps came to me i recommended her about those dating apps she tried and after two months guys she found the one <laughs> this is so good guys so so good it is possible just keep on searching don't give up that is why i am here to share with you these success stories so guys i know you all want to know why did vicky join online dating apps what was her love life before joining online dating apps you know that past experience in her relationships how was it like but before that let's sip some wine so sip yours too <laughs> Okay guys, about Vicky's past relationships. Vicky tells me or tells us that her past experience in relationships was not good at all because she dated different guys, African men, but it did not go well. She told me two of her past relationship stories and one of it is that she was dating a guy, an African guy, a Tanzanian guy. Everything was so, so well. They were in love with each other. Vicky knew that that guy is going to marry her, but she came to find out the guy impregnated another lady while they were still in a relationship. She really got very, very hard. A guy asked for forgiveness. As you know, I told you, African ladies, we tolerate a lot. So Vicky forgave the boyfriend. They continued the relationship. And again, the guy impregnated another woman. That is when Vicky said, no, this is the end. I cannot keep on the relationship with you. Let's break up. So that relationship ended. And you know, when you are single, ready to mingle, <laughs> she started another relationship with a Tanzanian guy again. And it went very well, guys. Everything was good. The guy was, you know, caring, so kind, treating her good. <laughs> But came one problem, a guy never wanted Vicky to touch his phone. So there was this fight whereby a guy doesn't want Vicky to touch his phone. He says, my phone is my phone, don't you ever touch it. But surprising enough, a guy used to ask Vicky's phone. <laughs> if you don't want me to touch your phone, don't touch my phone too, then fair game. <laughs> but you want to touch my phone you want to see what i do in my phone but you don't want me to touch your phone what kind of a relationship is that and you know guys when you are in a relationship you start having doubts about your partner <laughs> and those doubts unfortunately you cannot find a solution to clear them that relationship won't work at 
all <laughs> when you are in a relationship and you want to live a very healthy relationship you will never stay with a lot of doubts in your mind you have to clear them so that you can go on but Vicky couldn't clear those doubts the guy refused to accept Vicky to touch his phone and that is what brought that relationship to an end so after all those disappointments guys vicky was like i am done done with african men i know if you're an african man here watching you are going to get angry at vicky <laughs> but i'm telling you don't get angry at vicky because sometimes these african men can disappoint you to an extent you are like no this is the end things are here so that is what happened to vicky and she said you know what i want to try something new i want to date a white guy and see how it will be but i want a decent white guy that will treat me good that will love me truly that is when her desire to date a white guy kept on growing and growing then guys you know that i've been telling you if you want information now you will find it so because vicky had this desire of dating a white guy she started going on instagram youtube google you know to look for some information on how to find a white guy so she went on youtube and as she was going through youtube videos she came across my video the first video she watched was the video i did talking about if you want to be in an interracial relationship you should know this she liked that video kept on watching some more videos and after three days she came on instagram wrote to me a dm i remember very very well i'm going to put our first chat here so that guys you confirm i'm not creating these stories they are real stories <laughs> vicky introduced herself and she told me bella i really like your channel your videos are very helpful and you are like my role model i really like you very very much i like your family i have a dream of having a family like yours to find a white man that is honest a white man who will truly love me i don't know how you can help me <laughs> so guys to me vicky's dm or vicky's message on instagram did not shock me it was so normal to me because i've been getting those messages from lots of women and even some ladies they go to an extent of telling you bella connect me to a white man while i've said already in my videos i don't do hookups i just give advice and guidance so that you can find that right man so when i saw vicky's message i told vicky have you ever tried online dating apps i know if you have wrote to me on instagram <laughs> you know i also told you about this oh i asked you such kind of a question so i asked vicky have you ever tried online dating apps because i see you have a desire of dating a white guy or of getting married to a white guy vicky told me no i have never and she tells us that she never believed in finding a guy on a dating app for her it was something impossible <laughs> but i told her if you've never tried online dating apps try out these two dating sites i mentioned to her afro introduction and f dating which is free <laughs> yeah and one of those two dating apps it's where vicky found the one so after recommending to her those dating apps i also gave her some tips that please be careful and the reason why i said be careful is because vicky was new to the dating world she didn't know anything so i told her be careful if you see a guy without a shirt half naked don't bother to write or if he writes to you do not respond the second advice or tip that i gave her is that if you see a guy without any profile photo don't bother to answer don't bother to send a message to that guy because those are players and the third advice 
I told her if you start chatting with a guy and he asks you nude photos, block that guy. So those were the first advice or first tips that I gave to Vicky. So guys, the first time that I chatted with Vicky was 31st of July last year. 2021 and after recommending those dating apps she told me that bella something pushed me to join only one of those dating apps i don't know why but something told me join only this one and she joined that dating app then started chatting with different guys so she tells us that after joining the dating app she encountered a lot <laughs> Just like we know guys, I've been telling you in my stories how these ladies encounter players. <laughs> yeah, she encountered people who were not serious at all and she shared two of her challenges on a dating app after joining the experience of encountering the players. <laughs> So, player number one that Vicky encountered on that dating app, this guy was from Hungary and the guy came with sweet words, he was talking very nicely, he told Vicky that I am on this dating app because I'm looking for the love of my life, a woman who will love me, not my money because the guy said he is rich and started sending photos of fancy cars, showroom with lots of fancy cars, telling Vicky that he owns that showroom and he's very, very rich. So Vicky was like, okay, they kept on chatting to see how things will go. Vicky wanted to see how this guy will keep on the relationship. So they kept on chatting and one day this guy from Hungary was like, today I feel very lonely. Can you please send me your sexy photos and I'll send you money. <laughs> and when Vicky got that message, she tells us that she remembered my red flags. How I have been telling you guys, if a guy tells you, send me your sexy photos, I want to see what your mama gave you, do not do that. That's a red flag. So Vicky remembered African Bella's red flags and she was like, no, this guy is a player. Told the guy, I'm not going to send you my sexy photos or nude photos. No, that's not me. I am also a very hardworking lady. I've got my own money. I cannot do such kind of a business. <laughs> so after telling the guy no, the guy blocked her, Vicky did not give up because she had all my words in her head or in her mind, remembering all the tips that I have been giving you guys that if you encounter a player, a guy asks you for nude photos, it doesn't mean you should give up. So Vicky did not give up. She said, let's go on to Nasonga Mbele in Swahili. <laughs> so guys, Vicky kept on with her search and then came player number two from Finland. <laughs> this guy came and he was too fast. He chatted with Vicky within two days. He started asking Vicky, do you have a passport? Vicky was like, yes, I have a passport. I want you here very soon. I'm going to help you find a very good job here, which will pay you lots of money. But let's do this very, very fast so that you can be here. And when Vicky saw that, she said, this is the red flag. Yes, I want a man so soon. I want a white man to marry me, but this guy is going too fast. Maybe he has got his own motive. What do we learn from here, guys? We are learning that no matter how much you are desperate to find a white guy, if your inner voice tells you that, something is wrong, you are smelling something fishy, you should not continue that relationship. Keep on searching until your inner voice tells you he is the one. Cause guys, a lot has been happening and I remember one time on my Instagram, there is a guy who wrote to me, I request you to warn all ladies that are watching your videos 
that human trafficking still exists they should be very very careful and that is why also guys i've been telling you before you go visit the guy get to know a guy very well listen to your inner voice that the guy is good because yes the embassy can control a lot before you travel go visit this guy but guys remember they are only human beings what if something slips away and that's a mistake maybe a guy was into that business maybe the guy had some other bad motives towards you so you should be very careful get to know a guy very well so that you don't find yourself in trouble so be careful on your search no matter how much you are desperate take your time listen to yourself get to know a guy very well if you are not convinced just leave that guy keep on searching until your inner part tells you you know what girl he is the one so guys vicky said ciao ciao to a guy from finland and the same day that she said ciao ciao came another guy he received a message from a polish guy this guy's message was so good was very respectful wanted to know more about vicky started asking her about her family wanted to know about culture wanted to know about vicky's work they kept on chatting like that and later on they started discussing about their love life this polish guy's name is thomas thomas started telling vicky about his love life the past relationship told vicky i've been on online dating apps for so long and it reached a point that i gave up due to what i went through i was on online dating apps chatting with a lady for six months but whenever i could ask for a video call this lady was from russia so i could ask for a video call the lady could refuse and after six months i kept on insisting i told her if you're not going to talk to me on camera then i'm going to leave you that is when this russian lady started telling thomas the truth that i am 50 years of age i am so lonely i've been here on online dating apps chatting with you but it's because i wanted someone to talk to due to loneliness it's not that i'm looking for something serious with a guy i only want to chat so things that have been happening to you guys ladies they are happening to two men who are serious you see this guy was chatting with the lady thinking the lady is the one but the lady was refusing the video call and i know thomas did not have enough experience <laughs> if had experience he could have known that you can't chat with someone for six months without seeing that person remember this is internet dating <laughs> anything can happen so you two guys if you have never watched any video me talking about making a video call with a guy i am repeating please make sure that after chatting with a guy everything is going well maximum one week after that one week the guy should talk to you on camera you should see who he is some pretend to be 30 while they are 60 some pretend to be 50 while they are 70 so be very careful talk on a video call see whom you are dealing with so after thomas knowing the real truth from the russian lady he got very frustrated stressed because he was seriously looking for the one decided to leave that dating app and took a break after two months joined again that is when he came across vicky's profile on that dating app so after vicky listening to thomas's story about the experience of online dating vicky also gave her own experience but in real life <laughs> so guys there's this one thing i've been wanting to tell you people say online dating is really bad online dating app is risky but if you have ever dated someone in real life you gave your goodies and then that same person played you 
in real life <laughs> what's the difference because players are everywhere even in real life exist players online dating exists players too the only thing you need to do if you are on online dating apps be careful get all the information that you need to keep you safe while you are on online dating apps so after listening to each other's story you know everyone will say i'm sorry the other one will say i'm sorry too <laughs> they kept on chatting everything was going very well she tells me that i felt chemistry with thomas and after two months of chatting guys they started talking of how to meet in real person so they agreed that they're going to ask for holidays from where they work thomas works in poland and vicky works in tanzania they're going to ask for leave the same date so that they can meet and it is thomas who was supposed to come to tanzania to meet vicky but he was never traveled to africa so it was his first time to go to tanzania africa <laughs> then guys after talking of how they're going to meet planned and knew the date the month of when they're going to meet i've also been telling you if a guy tells you i will meet you or i want us to meet i'm going to invite you i am coming he should tell you the month and the date <laughs> of when he's going to see you not soon because soon can be forever soon might not even happen after knowing the dates and the month of when thomas was coming to tanzania vicky came to me on instagram she was like bella i am so grateful to you i am so so happy i found a guy on one of the dating app you recommended to me everything is going very very well and we are planning to meet but there is one problem because my boyfriend has applied for the visa to tanzania and the immigration has not answered him he applied online so vicky wanted some advice from me what should the boyfriend do because it has been a week and no response that maybe everything is good but no response from tanzanian immigration so i told her i've never gone through such process but my advice please tell your boyfriend to see if there is a phone number online where he applied and then call them ask them what's going on it ended there that day she told me bella i'm going to keep on updating you i am so so excited so guys the month that thomas planned to go to tanzania was june 2022 this year <laughs> this plan was last year <laughs> and after thomas applying for the visa he also sent money to vicky so that she can prepare the accommodation of where he is going to stay he told vicky i'm sending you this money i trust you do everything but i want to take you a little bit back <laughs> So as I was talking to Vicky, I asked her, did this guy talk to 50-50? Is this guy spoiling you? Is he caring? And then Vicky told me that the guy is not all into 50-50 relationship. And Christmas last year, the guy sent me money to buy for my Christmas gift, which is very good, guys. Vicky never asked money from this guy but because he cares because he is a responsible guy a very romantic guy remembered the girlfriend and sent a christmas gift that's so sweet of him she also told me during valentine's day whereby i've been chatting to lots of ladies that they are dating men online <laughs> you find a lady complaining that it's valentine's and the guy is nowhere to be seen even a message or it's a girl's birthday the guy does not even send a happy birthday message but this guy or thomas from poland sends a bunch of roses on valentine's day plus a valentine's card to vicky he bought them online this guy is really really good even last time there is a lady i was chatting to she found love online her story is coming too <laughs> she was telling me bella now i understand why you have been telling us we shouldn't settle for less 
and we should be patient. I never knew I can find a good guy like this online. <laughs> so Thomas II is really one of those good guys. So let's go back to where we were. <laughs> Thomas is planning to go to Tanzania. He is in the process. After two weeks, Vicky returned again to me, told me they have replied him, so he is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky was so excited guys I will show you her messages here she was like I'm so stressed and very excited to meet my boyfriend that I found online I'm so so happy and I thank God also guys when Thomas was chatting with Vicky told her when I come to Tanzania I want to meet your parents we do like an introduction. So I want to know how are the process? How are things done in your own culture? Cause I really love you so much. I want to be with you and I want to see your parents. Tell them that I love you and I really want to marry you. So Vicky told him everything, you know, the Tanzanian way about the bride price and everything. Thomas said, okay, no problem. So time for Thomas to go to Tanzania came, which was June <laughs> this year, and Thomas went to Tanzania. Vicky was very, very happy to see Thomas. Super happy, guys. They stayed together. Vicky tells us that around her city to see, you know, the tourist places. Thomas was happy too and even told her, you look more beautiful than the photos. Oh my God, that's so sweet. <laughs> they enjoyed each other's company and also started talking of the goodies. <laughs> he talked about enjoying the goodies and they all agreed that they should first check their health and then enjoy the goodies so they did that and later on without thomas forcing vicky to give him the goodies vicky was ready to give her goodies and she gave the goodies guys <laughs> yeah she gave the goodies she tells me my heart was ready to give this guy my goodies because i was sure he is the one <laughs> <laughs> now I imagine you want to know if Thomas went to meet Vicky's parents like he promised. <laughs> Remember last time's story I told you if a guy is serious, a serious guy will show you actions. He talks and he puts his words into actions. So did Thomas put his words into actions? Yes guys, Thomas went to see Vicky's parents and also asked for the direction on how to write that fiancé letter. In Swahili, we call it Barua Ya Uchumba because before you do the wedding, before anything, you have to write Barua Ya Uchumba, which is a fiancé letter telling the parents your intentions to marry their daughter. Remember, it's Thomas who wanted to do the Tanzanian way, the traditional way, follow the culture <laughs> of Tanzania. How do Tanzanian people do when they want to get married? So they showed him everything. He wrote the letter, paid for the bride price, paid for the bride price. He was so happy to see Vicky's parents. Also, Vicky's parents were happy, welcomed him very well. Everything went very well, guys. Even Vicky was happy too. Told Thomas, I can't believe that you followed our culture, our tradition. Thomas told her, for you, my love, I will do it again and again. Oh my God. <laughs> this guy is so good. The time that Thomas spent in Tanzania was three weeks and it was time for him to return to Poland. Remember, he works, <laughs> so he was supposed to go back to work. <laughs> we should learn this too. Never accept a guy to come and stay with you for two months, three months. That's an irresponsible man <laughs> who leaves everything and stays with you in Africa for three months. 
you know the guy is idle he does not have anything to do he doesn't have a job either he is a mama's boy his parents are taking care of him or the government is taking care of him so be very very careful on this a guy is coming to see you watch the time he stays with you if he tells you six months remember the story i shared the guy said six months and then we came to find out the government was helping him we came to find out the mother was taking care of him he did not have a job so this too will show you that this guy is responsible or not details guys <laughs> <laughs> pay attention also another thing that i'm so happy about vicky is because she was telling me bella i followed all the advice that you have been giving everything so i was very very careful and i'm so proud of her guys because she's a lady who have never been on online dating apps but she followed all the advice without saying i am new to the dating apps i don't know anything no she followed the advice and she found the one so guys the plans of this beautiful couple that found each other online are they are going to get married october this year but vicky is going to poland september as i am talking they have started to prepare for the documents so that she can go and visit thomas in poland guys a lot has been happening to an extent that when i receive a story and this has made me too to open my eyes so whenever I get a story, I have to ask a lot of questions, just like a detective, <laughs> so that I know if the lady is in good hands, if that story is going to work out or not. Because white guys can come in Africa, be with you, promise you a lot, and in the end, when they return to their country, they block you, everything ends there. So before I give you the story, I have to confirm I have to be satisfied that the story is gonna work and the lady is in good hands. So that is what I did too with Vicky. Yes, it's me who recommended her the dating app, but again, doesn't mean that I should just listen to a story and say, oh, that's a beautiful story. I wish you luck and all that. No, I have to ask questions so that I can be sure if Vicky is in good hands or not so i asked vicky these questions to confirm if she is in good hands or not and number one question i asked vicky is do you talk with this guy on a video chat she told me yes we do it every evening we must talk on a video chat everything he does he tells me not even after returning before coming to tanzania that was how we used to do and we are still doing that he doesn't hide anything from me at all and i am also open with him in my life in whatever i do i told you love is two-sided if the guy is showing you his life he is open with you you should also be open with him and that is what vicky is doing so that one for me it was a tick second question that i asked vicky is do you know anyone in his family has he introduced you to one of his his relatives she told me bella i have talked to the mom i have talked to the brother and to a sister and what's more good guys <laughs> people are so lucky guys oh my goodness vicky has got thomas's sister's whatsapp number so she chats with her sister-in-law on whatsapp this is so good and a big tick guys <laughs> yeah because these guys you meet online the guy doesn't want to give you his whatsapp number when he gives you his whatsapp number and you ask about the relatives the guy will be i am alone i don't have anyone left <laughs> no mother no father no sister nothing so that has been a game of players that have been doing that because i get a lot of these kind of stories from ladies who are on online dating apps <laughs> or you can be chatting with a guy online he will only send you the photos or send you some videos not call you talk to them no 
send you the recorded video but never give you the whatsapp number or phone number or any communication so if he comes there and everything goes wrong you don't find him on whatsapp you cannot even reach out to anyone because you don't have any communication apart from him i'm not telling you this guys to go and ask the men you meet online to give you the numbers of their relatives no this should come from a guy himself if he does that that's a plus guys <laughs> and question number three that i asked her i've talked about it already if the guy is caring because in poland i came to find out that they also use 50 50 but vicky is one lucky lady because the boyfriend or the fiance is telling her i'm not into 50 50 and he is very very caring i have another story of a lady who found a polish guy but the story if you compare them with vicky you will say that those are totally two different people but from the same country that is why i've been telling you observe the actions of the guy before you judge him <laughs> not only that i would say study him get to understand whom you are dealing with yes polish guys can be into 50 50 polish guys can be short tempered but you might come across a guy who is totally different that is what we learn from this story so beautiful friends let's listen the advice of vicky to all beautiful ladies on online dating apps searching for love so her number one advice is if you are a lady you are on online dating apps searching for love be careful the way you search use the advice that i have been giving you to protect yourself so that you can find the right one so that was her number one advice her second advice or number two advice she said that it is possible to find love online you shouldn't give up just be patient but also with prayers you will find the one so dear beautiful friends do not give up no matter what it is possible look at vicky it was just last year july when she wrote to me it's not even a year she's getting married that was vicky and thomas's love story on how they met online it is really a beautiful story that is so inspiring guys so you want to know which dating app did vicky meet thomas vicky met thomas on f dating <laughs> this is the dating app i've been seeing about this i recommend it to you that try f dating i also recommended her afro introduction <laughs> yeah so it was afro introduction and f dating but she told me bella something pushed me to join f dating <laughs> and that is where she found thomas her husband to be let us wish her all the best she also promised us that she's going to be sharing her wedding here we will see their photos on their wedding yes that was her promise guys before i end this beautiful love story i want to give my own advice before i forget <laughs> i've talked of this already if you chat with a guy and you see he is desperate really looking for love that man is a keeper but a guy's desperacy shouldn't be like this guy we have seen from finland not that kind of desperacy a guy should be desperate yes but he should take his time to know you not because i've said if a guy is desperate then he is a keeper you take a guy like that one from finland who knew her after two days wants to invite her to finland and telling her she will get a job that will pay her loads of money i'm talking of a desperate guy who really want to take his time to know the woman very well and then move things to the next level put things into action so that is a tip i am giving you if you see a guy is desperate but taking time to know you then he is the one be serious with him too because among all players on the dating apps exist men who are desperate 
but they are seriously desperate looking for a real woman looking for a woman to start a family with so that was vicky and thomas's beautiful love story on how they met on a dating app so stick here keep praying keep searching guys because it is possible i know guys my stories can be very long but not boring <laughs> I'm so sure of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this because I want you guys to get to know what these women on online dating apps go through. Because you are on online dating apps, I know you have your own challenges. So the challenges might be the same. And also to inspire you that it is possible. You can find the one on online dating apps. So thank you so much for watching this beautiful love story. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good comment below what you think about this video i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao so cheers guys to vicky and thomas <laughs>